What's up guys, Joey here if you get tech, and ASUS ROG has given mobile gamers a new device to froth their mouths over with the release of the ROG Phone 5. Compared to its predecessor, it has a cooler design, a bigger and tougher screen, a more powerful chipset, and even faster charging. Is this the flagship to get this year? Let's find out. Starting with design, the ROG Phone 5 comes in two colors, Phantom Black and Storm White. Given the screen size, it's a pretty tall device at 172.8mm and is pretty chunky as well at 10.3mm. It's relatively narrow though at 77.3mm with curved back edges, you'll still be able to grip it properly. It's hefty at 238 grams, which is understandable given the materials and battery size. Found here at the back is the triple camera module, the LED flash, and a microphone. The rear part is where the design improvements over its predecessor are noticeable. Under the glass are metallic accents with some dotted designs and diagonal lines to make it more interesting to look at. Yes, RGB lighting is still present and can be observed in the dotted ROG logo and can be customized using the Armory Crate app. The 6.78-inch screen dominates the front of the device. Above it is the selfie camera and LED indicator. There are noticeable bezels at the top and the bottom, but thin enough to provide an immersive 82% screen-to-body ratio. Four buttons and ports. Looking at the right, we have the volume and power buttons, and these are placed near the center of the frame for easy reachability. Also found here are the two touch-sensitive shoulder buttons. On the left, hidden by a removable rubber covering, are the USB-C charging port and metal contacts for the AeroActive Cooler 5. By the bottom is the Nano SIM card tray. It's worth noting that the lower left and right sides of the frame are pressure sensitive so you can activate or deactivate X mode simply by squeezing it. Up top, we have a microphone and a pair of antenna bands, while at the bottom are the USB-C charging port, 3.5mm headphone jack, which was missing on the ROG Phone 3, so we're glad they have it back. Also, another pair of antenna bands. It's a premium device clad in Corning Gorilla Glass Victus on the front, Corning Gorilla Glass 3 at the back, and a metal frame. Even though these are tough materials, glass can still break or shatter, while metal can still be nicked or scuffed if you drop it from a significant height, so make sure to use the case included in the package. Moving to its display, the ROG ROG Phone 5 is equipped with a 6.78-inch screen with a resolution of 2448 by 1080 It still uses an AMOLED panel but at a brighter 800 nits and has a refresh rate of 144Hz, while the touch sampling rate is at 300Hz. Protecting all of it is again Corning Gorilla Glass Victus. So while newer flagship models have almost no bezels, the ROG Phone 5 still has it at the top and bottom. It's not a disadvantage though considering this device's purpose as it eliminates the need for a hole punch or notch and prevents accidental touches when used in landscape orientation for gaming. Screen quality is excellent with deep blacks and punchy colors. It's bright enough to be used outdoors, it's immersive for applications like watching videos and of course playing games. The high refresh rate is really something else as it makes all the transitions and animations really smooth. Diving inside the display settings and you'll see the customization options like Splendid to adjust the color temperature and screen color, Smart Screen On to extend the screen on time while you're looking at it and holding the device upright, Low Brightness DC Dimming when you're at a 60Hz refresh rate to reduce screen flickering, Always On Panel, Lift to Check Phone, Screen Saver, and Auto Refresh Rate to allow the device to switch between 144Hz, 120Hz, and 60Hz automatically depending on the application. Audio-wise, the sound coming from the ROG Phone 5 is superb for a smartphone. Thanks to the dual front-facing 7-magnet stereo speaker with Cirrus Logic Amplifier. The ROG Phone 5 is also the first smartphone to include Dirac's patented MIMO or the Multiple Input, Multiple Output Mixed Phase Speaker Co-Optimization Technology that treats the smartphone's dual speakers as a single multi-speaker system in which the individual speakers work together to create the desired acoustical response. The result is that it has clear mids and highs, enhanced lows, and clean separation between left and right channels for a more natural spatial soundscape. This makes watching movies and playing games even more immersive compared to a traditional dual speaker setup. You can further enhance the experience by using the Audio Wizard app and choosing the right audio profile depending on the scenario you're in. Software-wise, it's running on a skinned UI based on Android 11. The interface feels like stock Android but with a red theme and circular icons. It's almost free from bloatware and you're only getting the usual Google apps and two Asus apps the ASUS Data Transfer app, and ROG Armory Crate. The latter is what you'll frequently interact with while gaming. 
Armory Crate serves as your dashboard to access the ROG Phone 5's gaming features. From here, you can access your game library. Each game is given a scenario profile where you can tweak touch settings, display, performance modes, network, air triggers, key mapping, and macros. The console tab brings you device stats, further customization of performance modes, system lighting, the fan speed of the Aeroactive Cooler 5, Game Genie, and air triggers. The Connect tab is a news feed for ROG Phone-related news and updates, while the Featured tab shows you the games you can download and play. If you're a hardcore mobile gamer, you'll be happy to find the customization options available to you make the phone adapt to your needs. Now, powering the ROG Phone 5 is of course the Qualcomm Snapdragon 888 5G CPU and Adreno 660 GPU. The unit we have here has 16GB of RAM and 256GB internal storage. As expected, it was able to handle all the tasks we threw at it, including heavy social media use, photography and videography, and of course, gaming. Going back to the Armory Crate app, you can choose between four different performance modes, X Mode Plus, Dynamic, Ultra Durable, and Advanced. Each profile has its own distinct priorities, so pick one that's best suited for your needs. For gaming, no doubt, X Mode Plus is the best option. We played Genshin Impact, Honkai Impact 3, and Call of Duty Mobile, all in their highest possible settings and all of them were able to run smoothly at 60 FPS. No frame drops, no lag, no stuttering. There's one thing we noticed though, the heat. We noticed that the ROG Phone 5 distributes most of the heat to the metal frame. On Genshin Impact, we were able to record a maximum temperature of 56 degrees Celsius. Now while that didn't affect performance, the device gets too hot to handle. And you'll definitely feel it if you long press on the air triggers. And that's with the Aeroactive Cooler 5. We highly recommend using the protective case for this reason, otherwise you won't be able to play comfortably. Now for benchmark scores, we'll flash them on screen now. When it comes to cameras, the ROG Phone 5 pretty much has the same configuration as the ROG Phone 3. We have a triple rear camera set up with a 64 megapixel main, 13 megapixel ultra wide, and 5 megapixel macro. For selfies, we still have a 24 megapixel front camera. For a gaming phone, the ROG Phone 5 has pretty capable shooters as it's fast and can produce images with plenty of detail and rich colors. Selfies are decent too, not as sharp compared to selfie-centric smartphones in the market, and the beautify feature is not that impressive and tends to wash out the face. The portrait effect is good though and can produce substantial background blur. When it comes to videos, users can record up to 8K at 30fps. You also have the option to shoot at 4K and Full HD at up to 60fps. If you want smoother videos, you can activate the Hyper Steady feature, but you'll only be limited to Full HD. The ROG Phone 5 has everything when it comes to connectivity. There's dual SIM with 5G connectivity, Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth 5.2, NFC, USB-C, and multiband sat-navs. There's also a hyperfusion feature that integrates mobile data with the Wi-Fi connection to stabilize your internet connection quality. There's also an option to simultaneously use the 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz bands of your 5G network for further stability. Now, power-wise, we're looking at a massive 6,000 mAh battery. It provided us with 5-6 to six hours of straight game time at X Mode Plus with the Aeroactive Cooler 5 and RGB lighting. The PC Mark battery test rates it at 18 hours and 52 minutes, while our video loop test got us 24 hours of playback, both using auto-refresh rates. Charging is pretty fast, only taking less than an hour, thanks to that 65 watt fast charger in the box. Now to wrap things up, the ROG Phone 5 is without a doubt, one of the most powerful smartphones out there. While there are other flagship smartphones in the market with the Snapdragon 888, this smartphone can provide the best gaming experience possible. Aside from the handy gaming software and hardware features, it can also accommodate the company's newer accessories to improve the experience. The only concern that we have about this phone is the heat that it generates. While we didn't encounter any performance or overheating issues, we highly recommend that you use the case and the Aeroactive Cooler 5. Now, should you upgrade from the ROG Phone 3? I don't see the need yet as the Snapdragon 865 Plus is still pretty powerful by today's standards. And unless you want the new design, Snapdragon 888, and faster charging rate, then you might just want to wait for the ROG Phone 6. But even then, if you decide to pull the trigger on the ROG Phone 5, I don't think you will regret it. So that's it for our full review of the Asus ROG Phone 5. What do you guys think about this awesome gaming phone? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like, subscribe to our channel for more content, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads, and be sure to visit yugotech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Again, this has been Joby, and I'll see you guys in the next one.